What's going on? It's your big brother, Trend. Once again, with another exclusive video, only for a chosen one. Only the one that God has chosen in his will will be able to understand what I'm about to tell y'all in this video right now. But first and foremost, I just want to say, y'all beware. I got a lot of scammers out there pretending to be me, commenting in the comment section, leaving comments on y'all uh, comments and saying, WhatsApp them, Telegram them and stuff like that. That's not me, folks. I would never do anything like that. I would never say invest into this, invest into me. So be careful, folks. I don't want nobody send me no more emails saying, big bro, I got scammed. Come on, you got to be very smart, all right? Very smart. Use your discernment. But stay tuned to the end of this video because I got something I want to announce to y'all. Y'all going to love it, all right? But anyway, first and foremost, let's get down into this. So... One thing you got to understand, man, when God has chosen you, all right, it ain't all sweet and merry and, and, and you're going to get to celebrate Christmas like everybody else is about to be celebrating Christmas. Half of y'all didn't even get to celebrate Thanksgiving the way you wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving, did you? It wasn't a typical Thanksgiving, was it? It wasn't. Nobody gave thanks to you, did they? No. But I bet you everybody was expecting you to give thanks to them, wasn't it? Yeah. But anyway, one thing that God said, listen, God said, ain't nobody coming to help you. Ain't nobody going to be able to help you on your journey but him. See, God cut you out from everybody for a reason. He saw your heart. He saw your potential. He been with you ever since you was a child. And you felt his presence ever since you was a young one. You felt his presence ever since you was an adolescence. You felt his presence the whole time. See, but back then, you just didn't know what it was. <laughs> but see, now, God has awakened you to the reality of your situation and what's really going on. Now you see what's really going on. Now you be like, oh, so this what's really going on. Really? That's what you said. You said, what? You said, what? Really? I can't believe this. Because God opened your eyes and showed you people for who they really truly was. God opened your eyes and shows you why you went through what you went through. Why you're going through the situation that you're going through. He opened your eyes and showed it to you. And it wasn't all birthday cakes and candles, was it? No. Them birthday cake candles days are gone. Ain't nobody going to celebrate your birthday no more. Self a big bro. <laughs> but seriously, ain't nobody coming to help you, man. See, that's one thing you got to understand. If you really know that you are chosen one, you know what I'm talking about right now. I mean, this is this journey is so lonely. Sometimes I, be, I, I bet you just be sitting around talking to yourself like. Forget that, man. Forget that, man. Shit, man. Shit. You be talking to yourself and you probably be saying to yourself like, what if I go crazy one day? Like, am I really crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Not crazy, man. No, no. Everybody like me. <laughs> God, you crazy. God, you crazy. But see, the whole time you be doing this, the whole time you be doing this, you don't know you got a communication with God going on. You talking to your higher self. You talking to spirit. You talking to God in spirit because God has separated you from everybody else to where you can only be in a relationship with him. See, God jealous over you. I don't know if you ain't noticed it yet, but God is jealous of you. I mean, not of you, but God is jealous of people that come in contact with you. God is jealous of friendships and relationships that you try to put yourself in. Every time you go and try to talk to somebody, every time somebody try to come and talk to you, God be looking. What, who they talking to now? Get my robe on. Go get my angels. Go get my robe. Let me see that. Who is she talking to now? Uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Go down, go down there and handle that. That's how God see you. Because you the you the child of the most high God. You his beloved. And so he put you in a situation to where he always show you, can't nobody help you. And see, it took you a long time to finally realize. Like it took you a long time to finally realize that like. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, like, man, 
why aren't they supporting me? Why aren't they helping me? Why ain't people looking out for me the way I would look about look up look out for them? You know, why people don't love me the way they used to love me no more, man. You know, what happened to what happened to all the care? Don't we supposed to love each other? Ain't you know we supposed to be of God? No, you of God. It's a lot of people who you thought was of God growing up, then you find out they ain't really of God, folks. It just it was just a joke. It was just the image, it was just a facade. But you know you the real deal. You the real chosen one. And I'm sorry to say this, but ain't nobody coming to help you though. God got you on this journey by yourself. Because here's the thing. You are here to break the generational curse. All right. If God allowed you to do what everybody else was doing, you will follow this. You will follow the same path that all people, every, everybody that came before you follow. You'll do everything that they doing. You'll do everything that your that your, that, that his uh person, his uh son did. You'll do everything that your family did. You'll do everything that your sister and them family did. You'll do everything they all doing. They over there be partying and have a good time, but you be sitting over here trying to make something happen for yourself. You know why? Because that's what God wants. God don't want you to be like them. God don't want you to go down the same path as everybody else. He cuts you from a different cloth. God going to create something new for you. You get what I'm saying? That's why he made you the chosen one. See, everybody think this chosen one stuff is all sweet. No, 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 no. It ain't all, it ain't all whistles and bells. It's actually more challenging than the, than the typical person that live their life. It's way more challenging than that. You go through a lot more darker times than normal people because that's because you have the potential to handle it. You know what I'm saying? You got the you got the capability to handle it. You have the tolerance to handle it. That's why you go so through so much more than other people because you have tolerance to be able to, to handle it. Most people, if they was in your situation, they would already been done broke. They wouldn't be able to handle it. They don't have the ability. They don't have the capability. And see, you be looking for these people to be able to think like you. You be looking for people to be able to get on the same frequency as you. You be looking for people to support your vision, to support your dream when they don't even have the intelligence to be able to support your dream. You be looking for somebody to lead you when it ain't no more leaders. You the new leader. You be looking for a leader, but you the leader. They put they gave you a sword in the shield and they told you to go out there in the woods and go fight. That's what's going on right now. You in the wilderness. Somebody comment below. Let me know if you in the wilderness. Comment below and say, I'm in the wilderness train. I ain't never scared. <laughs> comment below right now and say, I'm in the wilderness, big bro. I ain't never scared. You know why you don't got to be scared out here in the wilderness? Because you got God. You got him. You got him. See? But guess what? If everybody could do what you're doing right now, they will already been done done, but they can't do it, folks. So stop looking for people to help you. Listen, every time something not going good, that's because God is making it not go good for you. Every time something don't go your way at the moment, that's because God is making it so it don't go your way. God is saying, figure it out. Right now in this message, God, whatever situation you're in right now, in this message, what God want me to tell you right now, I don't know what you're going through right now, but God is telling me to tell you, figure it out. Figure it out. And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but you know how you got to figure it out. Here's the message from God. The universe always gives you clues on how to get to the next point. All right. You got to be aware of what's going on around you at all times. Everything is happening because the universe is always on your side. Everything is always happening for you, not against you. Whatever situation you in right now, it might appear that everything is happening against you, but it's really not happening against you. It's something that you're not seeing. You need to, after this video, you need to sit down. You need to lay on your sofa or you need to sit in your car or you need to go to the bathroom at your job. You need to really just think, what am I missing? Just ask God, say, God, I know I'm not in this position for no reason. There's a way out because where there's always a will. Somebody took the words right out of my mouth. There's always a way. You missing a clue, all right? And God will never leave you in the wilderness stranded without a clue. There's a clue around you somewhere. I don't know what it is, but you gotta find that next clue. When the universe gives you that next clue, you're gonna be like, aha, big bro was right. 
See, that's why I'm your big bro. That's why God put me in your life, because I'm your big bro, bro. I feel you. As a matter of fact, listen, if you in a, if you in a bad situation right now and you kind of going through troubling times right now and you still you, you still need to find a clue, call Sherlock Holmes. Call the locksmith. Now I'm gonna charge you a fee if you got me to come out there and fix your tires. Now I ain't coming out there for no, for wasting my gas money now. Sign up, leave a uh sign up below in the comment section man at the top and then go to square and book a session with me if you need me to help you get out that little situation that you in but anyway man you got to understand man ain't nobody coming to help you when you get yourself in a position to where you stop looking for where's the help do anybody understand what i'm going through then you have graduated you have graduated into a man fellas fellas you got to Fellas, you got to understand. You a man now, bro. You ain't no little boy no more, bro. It ain't no more crying and, and bickering. And, ah, they ain't doing that. They don't understand me. Man, it ain't no more of that no more, bro. They look, they, look, they look to you as the cash cow. They look to you as the warrior, bro. You feel me? Your friends look to you as the one that's going to be able to create the plans. These girls that, you, that holler at you, bro, they don't know no direction. They looking for you for the direction and the perfection. But you got to get at your feelings, though, bro. She can't be the man and the woman. You got to step up and rise up and say, I am the man now, bro. It ain't no backing down. It ain't, it ain't no, you know, it ain't no rest. You, you going to have to go out here and work for it. Because ain't nobody going to come and help you no more, dog. You a man now. They look for you for all the answers. And I know it sucks because it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But that's the way it is, bro, when you become the new, the, new, the new leader. You lead the crowd now. You lead the pack. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with y'all ladies out there. Same thing. Y'all ain't little girls no more. <laughs> Y'all ain't little girls. And, My mama don't like me. My mama don't like me. She jealous of me. So what? She ain't supposed to like you. Especially if she don't like herself. She ain't happy with herself. But she see the happiness and she see the happiness in you. And that's probably why she kind of jealous of you. But that don't mean you got to cry and complain about it. Just understand she's not mad at you. She's mad at herself. See, one thing y'all got to understand is people, when they t call you names and they treat you out disrespectfully, you don't got to take it seriously. They doing you like that because that's how they feel about themselves. If somebody really respected themselves, they would treat you with respect. If somebody really saw the greatness in themselves, they wouldn't have no reason to be jealous of you. But when people treat you a certain way, that's not who you are. That's who they are. So don't give them the reaction that they looking for by being mad at them and by reacting. You're supposed to look at them and say, little grasshoppers. For they know not what they do. It's just like Jesus hung on the cross. They be like, Jesus was like, man, these, these dumb Decepticons, they hanging me and they don't even know, they don't even know why they hanging me. They so slow, they don't even, they don't even know what they do. They so dumb. Lord, please forgive them. That's what Jesus was saying. Cause he was, he was, Jesus was smart, bro. He was intelligent. He was gifted. He looking like, he's some, they dumb. They don't even know what they do. So that's how you got to look at people, man. You got to look at people like you got to look at people like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't calling you out of your name and they ain't treating you negative because that's who they is. You feel me? They doing that because, you know, they is doing that because that's who they is. But they try to make you like them. You're not like them. You don't got to accept what they say. But I'm going to tell you this. Ain't nobody coming to help you, bro. Ain't nobody coming to help you at all, period. You out here on your own. You got to step up. Straighten up, fly right, do your thing, carry your cross. You got to be strong. You got to work out. You got to hit the gym. You got to walk. You got to be healthy, be vigilant, be aware, stay out the drugs, stay out the alcohol, bro. Be clear, have clarity, use all of your mind power. Because listen, you an adult now. Ain't nobody coming to help you no more. Except for big bro. <laughs> Look, they ain't coming to help you no more. See? I can't make this up. 
They ain't, ain't nobody coming to help you no more. This is the end of the video. They going to help somebody else. They ain't coming to help you. Uh-uh. You fall down, you got to get up on your own, bro. Ain't nobody going to call no ambulance for you. Nah, because you the chosen one. You got too much power. You too gifted. You too intelligent. And you too smart. And I've put too much into you to sit back and try to help you. Let's see what you could do today. It's your big bro, Trent. Oh, yeah, by the way, man, I already told you I got something special. So everybody keep asking me, Trent, why you take the um, why you take the Lost Star Sea information knowledge down? I needed that. I, it's blocked. I can't get in it. You know what, folks? I'm going to leave it up, all right? And I'm going to just go ahead and create a value number two wise up, okay? So if y'all still want to go get that, I'm going to just keep it up. I ain't going to take it down. But I just wanted to take it down first time because the people that actually bought it, I didn't want them to feel bad or nothing like that. Because when I create volume two, you know, um, people that got volume one, you know, they're going to get volume two also. But I'm going to have to come up with something so that people that bought the volume one that's still up right now, they can get volume two with a discount. OK, so um, if you want to go ahead and get that, it's going to be at the very bottom in the comment section, the loss information for only the star seeds and the chosen ones this ain't in the, this this stuff ain't in the bible folks this that real this that real knowledge this that real this stuff that's that real stuff energy stuff aura stuff the metaphysical field yeah it's real stuff like that only we can understand it the chosen ones but remember my remember my words man don't look for nobody to come and help you anytime your spirit start to feel like a victim <laughs> <laughs> they don't love me, God. <laughs> you might go ahead and tuck that lip back in and keep on walking. Tuck that lip back in and keep on walking and keep on working. Because ain't nobody coming to help you. I'm sorry. It's your big bro trend, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.